Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some underrated slime shops that I think are amazing and I'm really sure you guys will like too. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. So first up we have Slime Pot on Instagram and her first slime really amazed me. This is called Unicorn Tears and this is a clear base slime and as you can see, it's so thick and when you pick it up, there's so many jewels on the bottom of it. It's one of the prettiest slimes I've ever seen and it's a fishbowl slime but it doesn't hurt your hand at all because there's so much slime around it. This slime's on but it does come with the unicorn tears charm that I showed at the beginning. Magic Pixie is another clear slime and again this is really thick but it isn't as thick as the last one so I think there's probably some water in there but the glitters in this are so pretty and not only are there glitters there's also mini gems in them. These ones are obviously a lot smaller and they don't hurt your hands at all they just kind of feel like beads in the slime and they are so so beautiful. Fairy farts inflate so much, so much so that I had to split it into two containers when I finished filming this video. And as you can see, it has so many glitters in it. I don't actually think there's any colouring in it. I think it's coloured purely by glitters. Baby slush is amazing. It smells really fresh, kind of like a clean cotton scent. The slushy bead layer is super crunchy and then underneath it has such a nice texture. It isn't a super thick slime, but I kind of expected that. Mainly because with slushy slimes, you do need a really sticky kind of loose base just to hold in the beads and also allow for some crunch. And if it's thick, then that doesn't happen. This comes with two of the charms I showed before. The only bad thing about this packaging was that the boxes they came in broke quite easily. So as you can see, that one was split by the time it already arrived. So this eight ounce actually was kind of like four ounces. But because the creator put so much bubble wrap around it, it was actually manageable to save the slime. And as you can see, I still have a lot left. Fruit Loops was another one I had to repackage, but this one was actually one that I broke. I think some of the glue must have gotten stuck in the top of the package. So when I opened the lid, the kind of seal came off with the lid, so I wasn't able to close it again and the whole packaging was broken. But as you can see, the slime is super thick and it comes with really nice charms and smells like Fruit Loops. Slime Pot included the cutest extras. She included loads of sweets, which you can see I've eaten already, some squishies, glitter, and also slime care instructions and borax. Next up, we have some other slime, and I've been dying to try her slime, and this one is definitely my favorite one she sent. The name for this slime is Viva La Viva M because it's based off the musical Rent. This is a running theme throughout all of her slimes, so she has some from Hamilton later on, and she has just really cool ones, and I'll tell you which ones they are when they come about. This one is just such a gorgeous color though, and I really love how soft it is, but also how thick it was. It's a really thick butter slime and it smells just like grape. Ariel Shells is obviously based off The Little Mermaid, I'm sure you've all seen it, and this is such an unusual slime. So it's a clay base, but as you can see, it is so glossy, it's so clicky and just so thick, and this has like a really nice kind of floral perfume scent. Next up, we have everyone's favorite musical at the moment, and this is a Hamilton slime, and this is Eliza's Burning Butter. Obviously, her song Burn is one of the best in the musical, and this one is such a unique slime because it's duo-colored at first, and then you get to mix it together, and it kind of smells like a fiery scent, kind of like cinnamony, and kind of like it would smell like it burn. I, I, that's a really bad explanation. Legally Blonde's name is self-explanatory and this is a crowd cream slime and I really love the texture of this. It kind of felt like a butter slime to me. It was really, really soft, really unique. And as you can see, the color is so vibrant and gorgeous. And the scent for this was really nice as well. It's kind of like a fruity sweet sherbet scent. As you've probably guessed by the tone of my voice, I was obsessed with all of her other themes and slimes and all of her scents, but this one kind of let me down. The slime itself was amazing. It felt amazing, it was super crunchy, and I absolutely loved the Skellington charms, but it just kind of smelt bad. I don't know if that was intended because this was a Halloween slime, but I really didn't like it. 
Every item came really beautifully wrapped and I love the packaging and also that it was bubble wrapped and I really loved all the extras she gave me. She gave some clays and just general stuff to put in slime. She also included a borax baggie and care sheet which I found so helpful. It was the most professional care sheet I've ever received. Next up we have Debbie Slimes and this is her unicorn ice cream. I think it's a cloud texture but I found that it was more like a cloud cream. It didn't fall really smoothly but I just love the colours of this and it smelled so good. It kind of smelled like a really sweet berry ice cream I would say and as you can see the colours being mixed together are so beautiful and they mix to make quite a nice colour actually. It's kind of like a light lilac pink and it just felt really really good. When I first discovered her account Bejeweled was the one that actually drew me to it because it's just such a unique and beautiful slime. As you can see it's so thick and so clear and then the jewels at the bottom are such high quality. They aren't kind of like the typical gross plastic ones, they're really quite heavy and just really fun to play with. Bubbly Rosé was such a nice surprise to open because all I could see when I was looking at the package was the fishbowl and the pink slime but then when I took the lid off all the flame beads were hidden under it and it was so fun to play with. It added a really nice texture because they were so big and the slime was actually as thick as it could be to hold all the beads in which I was so impressed with. I don't know what it is but I find that so many slime shops do not sell plain clear slime and it's all I've ever wanted and it's never anywhere and this one is such a nice one as you can see it's beautifully thick so so clear I actually found two little sequins in it but that wasn't much of an issue for me and I just loved it I thought it was amazing and obviously it's also unscented because scents make the clouds go cloudy. Green Pearl I didn't find was scented either but this is a really beautiful one. It's the only pigment slime she sent me but as you can see the clarity of all of her slimes are so good so when that pigment's added it's so vibrant and it's just beautiful. So so nice. I know I'm going to absolutely slaughter this name. I think it's pronounced Pan de Epicy. It's a Christmas edition slime and it's kind of like a cloud slime and it's scented like gingerbread I think it is and it has such nice Christmas colours on it. I didn't find that the cloud slime was actually amazing. I really liked the texture of it and it was quite thick but it didn't fall very smoothly. Strawberry Cake Pop had such an unusual texture, so it was kind of like a clay, kind of really thick, glossy slime base, which isn't typical with Floams. Normally it's quite a sticky base so we can get lots of clicks and crunches, but this was just a really different experience and I really enjoyed playing with it. It had a really nice strawberry scent. It wasn't like that gross artificial strawberry scent. It kind of smelled like a strawberry cream, I guess. This package was sent by Debbie.Slimes and as you can see everything came bubble wrapped, every single thing came really really tightly sealed as well, I actually really struggled to get the seal off and she also packed in a bunch of extras. Her slime ingredients were actually really handy, so she has a slime care sheet, again this is a really professional one and then she included so many extras including a borax baggie. Next up we have Pokey Slimes and I'm not kidding when I say this is the nicest slime ever. So it's a butter slime and as you can see on the screen it's so sizzly, it has so much air trapped in it and I love the colour marbling of this, it's just beautiful and it mixed together to create a really nice kind of pink that kind of looks like the mouthwash you get in the dentist but it smells so good. It kind of smells like the mouthwash you get in the dentist as well actually because it has that peppermint scent and it's kind of meant to be Christmassy but now I'm just going to keep thinking of it as a dentist slime but I actually really did love it and it's super affordable as well. Strawberry Oreo smelt just like strawberry to me, not really like Oreo, but as you can see here, it's such a thick slime and it's so, so clicky and glossy. I found it was quite tough at first. I had to add some lotion to it just to get it to ease up because I just found that it kept ripping. But once I did, it was a really nice texture. My only fault with this is that the glitters come out on the table.
This slime is amazing. It's called chocolate pudding and as you can see, it's the glossiest slime ever and it really reminds me of Glitter Slime's Laffy Taffy. As you can see, it has the same gloss, it has the same thickness, it just has a different scent and a different colour. And I love the marbling that came with this. This was the first time I took it out. It might have just been the clay if there is any in there just coming through, but it was really nice. And when I added some lotion to it, it really eased up and it became a lot softer and also really inflated. Strawberry cream was another amazing butter slime. I think she must live near a Daiso because these Daiso clothes were so fresh and this smelled just like a strawberry cream cheese. Again, it smelled like Glitter Slime's one. I don't know if they have the same kind of distributor, but it was just amazing and such a nice soft clay slime. This package was sent by Pokey Slimes and she wrapped it all really well and she included the cutest little extras including this little bauble Christmas tree which I have up in my house now. She did forget to add borax but that was just because she was in a rush when she was sending it. Next up we have Super Slimy and her slimes really remind me of all these slimes because they're so thick, so glossy and I think she must use Elmer's glue and some of the same ingredients that Audrey uses because these slimes are amazing. So this one's called Blue Apple Rasp Fun Dip and it smells just like apple as you can see the colour is beautiful, it's a really light blue and the texture is really nice as well. It isn't a particularly crunchy slime because the slime is so thick but I just love how it feels. The next slime she sent me is Dole Whip and this smells just like pineapple, a really fresh one at that and it smells so sweet and the texture is so thick. As you can see there's a super glossy layer at the bottom which I love, I don't know how this pulls through, it's beautiful though and the slime is so soft and just really relaxing to play with because the clay is so thick in it. Cucumber Melon Cloud smells so fresh. It kind of smells like one of those drinks you get in the spa and it's just so relaxing. I didn't really find that this had a super cloud texture. It was more of a cloud cream to me. As you can see in this clip, when you pull it up, it doesn't fall really smoothly. It falls kind of all in one. Orange Cooler is the most crunchy slime in all of the land. I've literally never heard or felt something this crunchy. I'm not a huge fan of orange scent, so I was really worried to smell this, but it's kind of like a really fresh scent with a hint of orange, so it isn't overpowering at all, and I actually really enjoyed it. I've never tried Trick Cereal or Fruit Loops, but this slime smells just like Fruit Loops. I feel like there's some type of overlapping. It's also such a nice texture. It's super thick, and as you can see, the gloss is so real. And I really like that the flame beads don't disrupt the slime, so you can still poke it, but it's also a really nice texture for when you play with it in your hand. Cherry Fruit Punch is basically the same slime as Trick Cereal, but it's just a different colour with a different scent. Personally, I really love how thick this slime is, so I didn't mind this at all, but it is just something to consider. This slime was very similar to Debbie's Slime Strawberry Cake Pop. Again, it had a really unusual base. It was kind of like a clay, clicky, it wasn't clicky actually, it was just a really thick, glossy base. And it just felt really nice to play with. And the scent was a really beautiful fall scent. It kind of smelled like a pumpkin spice latte. Lemon Pound Cake is another cloud slime and I really enjoyed playing with this, but again, it wasn't a super cloud slime texture. This one was definitely more of a cloud slime than the cucumber one she sent, and this had a really strong lemon scent. This package was sent by Super Slimy on Instagram and I really enjoyed all her crap packaging being different colour and also the extras she gave me. She gave me a lot more sweets than this but again I ate all of them because I have no self control. She also included the squishy and a slime care sheet. Last but not least we have Pangea slimes and this is her Equinox slime. This is a really unusual slime. At first I thought it was like a clay slime that got too over activated but then underneath it had like a really really gooey, I was about to say juicy, disgusting, gooey layer underneath and when you mix it together you didn't need to activate it at all and it was super super clicky. They also sent melted ice and this was a jelly clear slime, I really enjoyed playing with this, I think it had fake snow in there and at first I thought the melted thing was just an effect but I actually had to activate this so much and both of her slimes had amazing scents.
Everything was really well packaged with custom packaging, which I was really impressed with. And as you can see, the slimes came in perfect condition and I really enjoyed everything she sent. She also sent like 10 more Jolly Ranchers, but again, I ate them all. So thank you so much for all of your packages. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and I'll see you next week.